Hello, everyone. Welcome to Crimes of Our Times Live. I'm filmmaker, author John Borowski. You may have seen my works on screen, such as Carl Panzram, The Spirit of Hatred and Vengeance, or in books such as Dahmer's Confession. I'm pleased to have today on the show as my co-host, Shane Owen, a.k.a. Sam Hain, who's broadcasting all the way from the UK, and we're going to be yeah. discussing serial art. Welcome, Shane. Great, John. It's a pleasure to be on the show, man. Great pleasure, actually, because we've only spilled today after years of knowing each other. So this is great. Man. It's actually great. Yeah. And I think, you know, what was it? I mean, I was trying to think earlier how we first met. I don't know if it was through Joe Hiles or Bazaar Magazine, because you yeah, were in um, Bazaar when I was around that time, too. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, like, you know, I, I do have everything to hand. It was like, ask the paint in your honor, though. That was my oh, first yeah, publication. I love that. This magazine used to be great, man. And like, I miss that, Bazaar. That was, yeah, it was a great magazine. It's like that that was where like a lot of my early stuff, pre like the serial killer culture stuff come in, like, you know, because mm -hmm. it was I think they, they did an article not long after that, which um yeah, the big feature on the crime and murder billion, and then yeah they started featuring my art there, like, you know. Like, yeah. And I think Is that's that how I, yeah, I think that's how I knew you either, either that, or like I said, through friends. And then I thought, okay, you know, the serial killer culture film, you know, if, if, yeah. if, if anyone isn't familiar with serial killer culture, Shane was one of the 13 artists, <clears throat> experts, you know, authors, forensic psychologists that I interviewed for that film. And again, you know, we had uh, the band, um, you know, Sparzanza oh, from Sweden. We had you from the UK. It was worldwide. Macabre. Macabre. We had Macabre. We had a little of everyone, <laughs> you know. I mean, serial killers are worldwide, right? I mean, I am, you know. You know, yeah, and big yeah, and so, and also, Shane has been a big part. We've collaborated on other books that uh, I've published, such as the Ed Gein file, Dahmer's Confession. Um, the Ed Gein file. It's like great book. Oh. Anyone who hasn't read this, like, I'm serious. Get this book, man. It's like the I found out so much about Ed Gein in this book that I did not know. Like, you know, where he's, like, you know, borderline. Um, cross-dresser and wanted to be a woman as well and shit like that. Exactly. Why? I mean, in his mind, it was all messed up, you know, the religion, the male-female issue. You know, yeah, and what, crazy. and you know, crazy. reading that book, that book contains this whole interrogation and interview, and what I didn't know is, you know, one of the reasons why he murdered one of his victims, he said because she had an affair outside of marriage, but, you know, everything in his <laughs> so mind weird. was, like, really? Yeah. Yeah, because the, the interrogation where the police are talking to him and then he just says something, you know, it just uh, is it's wild, man. The book takes such a turn, like, you know, it was great. Uh, and and again, the same with, like, these confession books, man. They're like, honestly, if anyone out there wasn't read that, get this as well, man, because this blew my mind. It's like uh, all in a, like, looking at, into, like, Jeffrey Dahmer in a different, like, right through his head. It was crazy, crazy. Well... I was, you know, very happy to have you be a part of, you know, all my work, but especially the Dahmer's Confession, because one of my favorite pieces is the Unseen Shrine of Jeffrey yeah, Dahmer. Do, so uh, tell, tell us about that, your influence on that. And that, if the viewers don't know what that was based on, tell them, you know, what that was based uh, on. Yeah, well, the Unseen Shrine of Jeffrey Dahmer, like I, I got it, like this, it, it, this appeared in... Um, yeah, Real Crime Magazine yep. used to be a fan. So, like, he did, like, an article. So, that's the painting. I don't know if I can get the light. Is it, can you see that, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. So, like, in their hand, this is the original, like, um, sketch, which Jeffrey Dahmer, like, created. He wanted to build this shrine, like, you know? So, like, this was the only thing that ever existed, right? It was just the sketch, yeah? So, like, um, yeah, basically, I, I just wanted to give him a more like a realistic turn see what it actually would have looked like if he built it <laughs> so it's like the unseen shrine of jeffrey Dahmer because it never got seen he never built it so that's like kind of like a painting from his original sketch like because that that again fascinated me like it's a crazy crazy shit this is yeah wild. that's wild. Like, I, like i said that's my favorite i love all your work but that to me is my favorite you know, I love all your colors. Talk about like your process, you know, because your medium, your what mediums you use, because I see a lot of psychedelic 
thing, yeah, you know, man. colors and, and um, you know, throw back to the seventies, like that. Jim yeah, Jones man, you, you, you've hit that bang on the head, like, you know? So it's, um, yeah, growing up when I was a kid, is that my brother was older than me, like nine years older. So like back in like early eighties, like, you know, um, I was it must be about five or six. I like got introduced to Motorhead on the young ones. My life changed. Like my brother gave me a Sex Pistols single. Like where color and art come from? Because I really had to think about it. This is really important. Oh, love that. Like Nine Lives of Fritz Cat. I, I like I bought this when I was really young. Changed like an all different way of looking at art. Another movie that was very important was Great Rock and Roll Swindle. Now this, like I, I, I love like. So it's saying after I see Motorhead, my brother gave me the Sex Pistols single, and this was on the cover. It was I'm Not Your Stepping so. so I got so heavily into Sex Pistols. And like through this stuff, and like the movies, like Tommy and, you know, Psychedelic, like, you know, the 70s, 60s shit, all that like kind of melded into one, mixed along with all the kids, like cartoons I was into. Because I was really young, man. I, I, was, I was tiny, like, like, like six or seven or something, like, you know, but it's just like, it all kind of mixed there, but I went down the route then of being really heavily into music and horror films at a young age, like, you know? And then from that, like, I seen, you know, the covers and the artwork and, like, bits of horror movies I was watching. It was having a big influence on me, like, you know? So then as I got older, by the time I was, like, you know, 13, 14, you know, it's like, super into serial killers. Like, another bunch of magazines was, was these, you know? These kind of pulp crime yeah. magazines. Like, I, I used to, like, you know, read endless, endless stuff. You just fall into the world of it. Like, you know, once you get into true crime, it's it's crazy, like, you know. So all at a young age, like, and then eventually it went to where, was, like, you know, I ended up in, like, doing art in college. And then, yeah, when I got to, like, doing illustration for three years, that's where, like, that's where my artwork kind of went where i was going if that makes sense like so like mm -hmm. you know this kind of shit so, i don't know if you can see that but that's like i'll try and get it back a bit but this a is little like, to your a little to your left there? i think yeah there? yeah right there yeah cool. yeah so what is that that looks like manson Gein, yeah so Bundy. We, and uh we got like uh ed Gein, charles manson like that's that's jeff Dahmer, yeah. and that's um dennis nilson like Nelson. I, yeah, at the, at the time, it was like I was so heavily engrossed in like serial killer books and stuff that like it was kind of consuming me in a way. <laughs> so I made the painting of me being like, you know, devoured by the culture itself. And I gave that in in university, man. They fucking hated me, John. It was wild. They they like they hated that. No one had seen shit like that back then, like you know. Like, well, and isn't that interesting too? You know, when I was a kid, luckily I didn't have any issues. Sometimes I'm sure they talked to my mom, but you know, I remember specifically I saw that movie Madman. Oh, yeah, Madman Mars, oh, right? Yeah. And I did a drawing, I taped two pieces of paper together, and I did a man's body with his head screaming <laughs> as, a, yeah. as an axe was going, and it cut off his head. And, you know, and nowadays, you know, I have a nephew that was in grade school and he did a Jack Skellington, Jack Skellington. <laughs> yes, right. And the teacher talked to his grandmother and said, he's got issues. He's no trying. way. No way. Jack Skellington, this is a Disney, right? Yeah, I mean, crazy. they're the most corrupt of all, man. They're wild. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Crazy shit. It's crazy. That. Right. They are. You know, but, you know, I mean, I love, I love, you know, that you got started doing that. And, and it's kind of like me with horror films, you know, oh, those yeah. images, the posters, the movies. Yeah, the, the and then, fuck, mental yeah. artwork back in the day. Like, it's like when I was, I was obsessed with it when I was a kid. I could not wait to get home, you know, watch horror movies all night, play my records and draw and just stay up, you know, I couldn't wait. To that's play. the best. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it was the best thing. <laughs> that's, the, you know? that's the best life. Eric oh, said, we have Eric uh, chiming in. He said he loves your Richard Pryor and Divine Prince. Oh, thank you, man. Very, thank you very much. Um, yeah. Well, and that's the thing. You're a multi-talented artist. This show, you know, is I about a, art and serial sort of killers and hand. horror. But um, yeah, yeah, show us I, I what got, you like, got. The Divine. Oh, look at Cuddles. <laughs> Like, beautiful really and what but what's your medium what do you what do you um, use is it pencils what is this it? is a uh, acrylic and matte paint like and um yeah you know i kind of layer stuff and yeah i, I pencil everything in first by you know by eye it, it's like it takes a while to just get the main looking thing but once it once i got it like i'm 
yeah, I always do like tributes to my favorite like pulp movies, man. And like I'm a massive John Waters fan. And a thing to hand very early, man. Oh. Serial Mom. This was oh, like boss. an early like thing into like serial killers, man. Definite. This is fucking funny. It's great. It's a great movie. Watched it the other night. It's still a classic, man. So funny. It's, it, it's Joan Wayne Gacy. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Man. Remember? So funny. I love that movie. I can watch that all the time. Yeah, it's, it's great. Like, but yeah, thank you, you for, for taking notice of like my other paintings, man. It means a lot. Like, you know? Yeah, yeah. You, you know, it's not just horror and serial killers. Like I said, that one fluorescent print I loved. And I love how, you know, your site, artgrinder.com has... Big warning right at the beginning, adult yeah, yeah. material, which is cool. But like you said, you know, now serial killers and some of this pop culture stuff has kind of come to the forefront. Whereas, you know, 20, 30 years ago, oh, man, they, they hated it. Like, I said, they like, don't even want it. Yeah, because like what I was going to say, when I, when I left, like, uh, like you know, the art college thing where I was doing the illustration, they, they didn't like me, man. It was a bit of an ongoing battle because the work I was producing, they were like, you can't do this. And I was like, well, I've already fucking done it, so I'm doing it. You know what I mean? So it was like, you know, so I gave in, like, you know, again, ultra goal, you know? I don't know if you can see these. A little way. to your left. Yeah. A little more of that. Left. Right. Yeah. yeah. Or the oh, other. Yeah. I'll move the move the thing a second just so you can, like, see. Yeah. It. There you go. But, like, yeah, it was like a Frankenstein. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you know, totally tearing off a dude's head. I don't know if you can see that. That's uh, yeah, I do remember that one. That one's great too. Yeah, uh, I, that reminded me of Rawhead Rex in a sense. Oh uh, yeah, Rawhead Rex. I got that on video down there. Man. Yeah, I love that. Like that's a vampire wow. remake, you know, which I did like. That's great. The three famous monsters for my final project and the werewolf, you know, and I did that, and they like, yeah, honestly, man, it was like my final goodbye card. Like I was like, I'm done, you. It was it was worth it just to see their face, man. And they're like, I just, they were like, like glad go. Yeah, yeah, go. Like, yeah, yeah. So when I left. I um, I just like you know you're out of work and I was like um you know I, I'll push my art thing so like I was from the first one with me being eaten uh, by early painting it was like I got given the nickname by one of my mates in uni, uni at the time like in university and he said oh it's a serial you're like a serial artist as opposed to like just an artist and like it kind of stuck for a while so I used that as I left you know, you, 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 university, man. So I, I like use that as like a thing. And I was like, well, I'll, I'll do like a series of serial killer culture, you know, it, involved with the serial killer culture stuff, of course. I'll do a series of paintings, you know, a series of like film things and just like push my artwork. I didn't know how hard it'd be, man. You know how really hard it is. And I, I was messaging companies, man, sending my shit to magazines. And no one wanted that stuff back in the day, John. Serial killers, no. they, I, you know, I'd be lent kind of responsive. I contacted like t shirt companies. I, I contacted so many places. And I was like, right, I'll just stick to what I'm doing on my own. Like, and since then, that's, that's all I've done. My money just goes back into funding my projects, you know? It's like, you know, as, it's the same as yourself, you know what I mean? You, you can yeah. make a living and, you know, you just try and, like, you know, the money spins back around the funding act project. Like, and I just yeah. basically lived off it that way. But pushing it back in the day, it, it took, yeah, seven, six seven years of where i was like kind of fed up with pushing the serial killer thing because no one wanted to know and then as i said i sent a message to you or we communicated and i was like Fuck yeah i was like finally someone's taking notice man you know and that was it it was like thanks for that man honestly and you put me in a movie with joe coleman which i i blew my mind man that actually fucking, i was like you know i i'd only ever known him for two paintings man and like this one from when i was a kid one of the greatest. Yes, that's great. You know? Yeah, and uh, and then the other one was, um, you know, wait, let me just find it a second, man. I, I have to do something, you know. Uh, this, no. this painting, one of the best paintings yeah. that oh. ever existed. That's so when I seen that, like, I knew I was like, that. I only ever seen those two paintings. Didn't see his stuff till years later, like, once I started, you know, I knew I was, like, on a thing of, like, I'll stick with what I'm doing, man. Took years though. No one wanted to see it, man. Honestly, until you find anything, you know. Well, it has you know? Do you? I. It's interesting because you know earlier today I was just you know seeing what new work you had done, and I was looking up some yeah. more of your stuff, you know. But I had seen uh, it, Facebook came up and there was a, a girl that had messaged you, and she said, "Oh, I saw you in that movie, Serial Killer Culture. Where do I buy your oh, art?" Man. 
did that help at all? Did you see bumps when, when, or when interest? Is, well, um, yeah, after the serial killer culture, they said like um, that's where I noticed like, yeah, you the this people in America was taking more notice than more I in the UK. I like no one really wanted to print me. They didn't want to like, you know, my, my mates' bands and stuff and my own band. You know, at the time, you know, I was doing artwork for that and. You know, Crazy White Sean, who I used to go and meet in, like, Amsterdam a lot. I did a few things, like, bits for him, flyers and stuff, like, you know. And, yeah, just, like, I found it really hard pushing the work. But, like, you know, I mean, I had the Tartan studio going as well. You know, I still, I still have them. My third, third premises now, so I run everything from there, all my art and everything. But this COVID is, like, nailed, nailed this for now. Like, you know, this lockdown bullshit for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just like, You're I don't know. And, you, and that's what you have to be as an artist, right? I mean, I think like maybe, you know, tattooing or you do your day gig and then you do your art and, you know, whatever it takes to get it done. But I think it's so interesting now. Like if you go back, I guarantee you, if you go back to your, those college classes where they wanted to, where they didn't like your stuff, you're probably <laughs> the most popular person in the world of everyone <laughs> in that class, right? Think about it. I, I, I don't know. It was, it was crazy days. Yeah. Crazy days. A few people liked it. A few people thought where I was going because, like again, with with the artwork, it's graphic. But like, yeah, show us more of like, your you, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to? Um, I do, you I'll know. show you some. You'll work from some of like the earlier stuff then, man. We'll just yeah. Let's through. see some of the early stuff too. You know. And then uh, Eric uh, asked uh, another question. He said, "Have you done any Kubrick stuff or thought of doing Kubrick?" Um, no, stuff? I haven't. Man. No, I, I try and stay away from like. uh commercial movie stuff because like they usually tell you to stop you know doing the art like right. I, there's a thin line between fan art and stuff and like right. if anyone could help me out with like getting stuff like licensed with um, you know i'd love to know because i haven't got a clue man i've had to remove a couple of paintings which is fair enough like but i don't know where the thin line of fan art is like you know right so it's like yeah you know i understand not selling like no imagery which is fair enough man which is cool i understand that but like i how do you like I'm trying to promote myself of all this different art. How do you get in to that? You know, it's like right. I'd rather much trying to see if I could license the artwork, you know, because I want to do something with it. Either that, I'll just I don't know. Feel like doing a John Wayne Casey man burning all the shit. Well, right, <laughs> you know that's what, I mean? what, and you know, <laughs> even you know, what are you supposed to do with it? <laughs> right, and, and it's like Gacy. I mean, you know, Disney <laughs> sent Gacy a letter, right, and they told him to cease yeah, and man. desist. It's like, what is? Are they gonna arrest Gacy? <laughs> He's already yeah, got that rope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, man. You know, and all his artwork up in flames. It's just like, yeah, you know, what do I do with some of this stuff? It's just like, so, yeah, my the, the film stuff I work on now. It's like I, I you know, it's, it is just tributes to like classic movies, man. You know, I I, I worked like two years on a freaks painting, like you oh, know the, the movie Freaks. Like I did that. a color oh, version, like you know. Oh wow, that's like, great. Um, and with Todd Todd Browning in there, right? That's Todd Browning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like a taken from like an original photograph. Yeah, with you know him and the like. It was from, it was from an old like movie book, but um, I painted them in color, and that was a challenge, man. Right? Like two years on and off working in, like you know, in between doing everything else, but like that took a long, long time, man. Yeah, real long time. Like, but it was worth it in the end, like you know. Like, well, you're right because you know we've never seen any of those images in color from freaks. Yeah, yeah, you know? man, that's, that's what interests me, you know. Mm -hmm. And the, and the same with again with the serial killer stuff. Like that, that's another thing we can go back to with the artwork because um, yeah, saying a lot, a lot of like um, yeah, for example, on you know the early stuff, I paint them in a gray, whitish, you know, kind right. of form, like you know, so they're like a cold black and white, and that's only. The reason from like again for that is like when I was a kid, it was all black and white photography. You know the imagery of the killers usually mm -hmm. like, not much stuff in color really, man. You know the odd thing, you know not much like. But um, the the graphicness of like the scenes and the crimes, it's like I could see them as like a cold personality, you know, seen in black and white. And then I wanted to do the crime in full color, you know, just so it's like it's it's I don't know. It's, describe it like because I, I never meant this stuff to shock man it's, it's right. like i really didn't you know a lot of people like don't understand me for that they're like oh it's just you're doing it fucking shock or you're doing it because it's it's like it's like what i'm trying to do is like show kind of like a movie director it's like i got a canvas so like i'm going to show the crimes of these people man it's, it's not bigging them up it's not doing none of that shit showing the real groups and you know horrific side to what they have done man yeah. and that's Oh, that's forever remembered. It's like it burns in your brain when you read this shit. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like 
And yeah, you yeah. see that in crime scene yeah. photos. So it's it's yeah, reality exactly. and it's truth, but it's something that you're interested in, you know, and, and like you're saying, you're not gratuitous. You know, I think you're just, you know, creating what your vision is. And that's that, whether it's gory or flowers or whatever it is. And you've yeah, interspersed, yeah. not everything is that way. I mean, you're Jim Jones, you know, yeah. it's just that's letters it. and people that's and Jim, right? No gore, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, I love that one. Got that one, you yeah. know? With all the to that way, I'll do, let me just move this a second. Just, it'll be a bit easier if I just put this over here. Get a bit more there you go. So, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Like again, like um, with back to the old sixties kind of. I like to mix, you know, uh, the psychedelic colors and shit. I wanted that more like a rock kind of poster. Yeah. Like a kind of like a no, no, almost like a joke thing, but like you know, and almost like. Drawing people in, man, you know, like a rock and roll poster. That I wanted that kind of vibe, like except with the crowd, you know. So it's all the dudes who fell victim and to the you know, the poor people who fell into this, man. You know, it's wild, like it's, it's like it's stating what it is, like, you know, it may come across as comedic, but it's not supposed to be, man. You no, know? it's it's, it's art. It's art and it's your vision, and that's why I, I love that, you know. And you know, what other you've done a bunch of killers, and one time you sent me a yeah. picture of Gacy Buddhas. You may you could oh, yeah, little I Buddhas, have, right? Yeah, you still I, have I have a prototype. I have a prototype. Oh, well, see those. Those. Okay. So what was like, that I about? One. This is the one. I, I don't know which way you can. How see. did that come about? Like this is like this was number naught. So like um, I basically I was walking through a store. I seen like four Buddhas on the shelf. <laughs> like I it, automatically seen John Wayne Gacy's face, man. I was like, I'm gonna buy these four things. I'm gonna paint them. But like um, not, this is the naught which I have, and then I sold three, but somewhere out there, number two went missing, man. So that went missing in the post, the guy said. So somewhere out there, someone's got a number, number two AC somewhere, man. He's out there somewhere. The mailman you know I mean? probably stole it. Yeah, yeah, man. That, that's out there somewhere. Like, you know? <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. I love that. But yeah, you did a couple of gay. Well, no, you've done a bunch of Gacy's now because one of yeah, your Gacy know. images yeah. we, we sent yeah. out to people. Yeah, that was that one of your first ones? Yeah, this is one of the early ones. And again, I have um, reference why, you know, one of the earliest, this book. Yes. Great, man. It was yep. an amazing book. I've had to reread it about three, four times. But from that, you know, and these like, um, you know, these these crime magazines, basically, man, you know, as well. Right. Like, I can talk on them. Like, you Those know? are great. But like, um, yeah, from that, that's where I got like that vision from, basically. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to like kind of a subliminal John Wayne Gacy hidden, you know, so the clown. And then that was like just a, oh, sorry, that's going to be like, that's the mental hospital. Pick, right. Way he's thinking, yeah. And then that was just a straight up photo. We like, you know, it's like my work. You can tell it's early stuff there. Man. And then the subliminal cut of the house and the bodies, like, you know, because yeah. this story is terrifying. I mean, man, it and is. You're, you're working shit on it now, man. You're doing yeah, it. that's, you know, it's, 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 yeah. it's tough because, you know, when, when it hits me is when I see, you know, the uh, crime scene photos or, you know, deal with the lieutenant on the case now and the realities of the case, you know, and it yeah, hits I, me. I, you know. is, yeah, I bet it's yeah. really, yeah. are you finding out some stuff that's like, you know, oh, yeah. All, yeah. in your mind? Yeah, a lot. You know, I mean, there's, you know, because, you know, you read all those books and it's interesting that book that you have there, Killer Clown. Oh, um, man, what a book. It, you know, it is great, but not 100% accurate. That's the thing. Yeah, you know, I, I need uh, I need your book. So you yeah. next. That's what I was saying. I was in yes. the like, and then all this shit happened. But yeah, I, I need your book. I need yeah. that compassion, man. Just yeah. to go with the rest of these, man. Yeah. You know, the prosecutor in the case, you know, I showed him the questions and he's saying, where'd you hear this? Where'd you get this from? I said, well, from the books that are out there. He's like, <laughs> well, and it's, you know, it's, yeah, fabrication. So I want to tell the definitive true story, but you know, you had an image of Gacy that we um, uh, gave to oh, yeah, some people uh, for that, the book. Yeah. Two seconds. I got, I got like everything to hand. Uh, yeah, that like, that um, was awesome. So those were numbered and signed by you, and and lucky some lucky people have those um, prints, the smaller. Yeah, that's good. like again, this is like Eric has it. Yeah, two thousand and one. I, yes. I created that. So it's like quite old, like you know. And then, um, yeah, again, I, like with John Wayne Gacy. What I was gonna say, a classic movie is like this man. 
the best to catch a killer. Yeah, again, that's my favorite. How accurate is that, then, John? You know when he's actually like you know toned in the cop smoking weed and shit. Is that was he yep. really that fucked up? Like yes, he was. Black, yes, like, when it, oh yeah, when yeah, when I talked Crazy. to the detectives, they said the first time that they you know surveyed him the two detectives the, the night shift they said the first time when they went you know to sur they saw him at a moose lodge they went in he bought a beer he sent a beer over to them then yeah. they followed him to a restaurant sat down in the restaurant they said well we'll go in and they he saw them and he goes like uh, this come on over so then here's the guy that killed you know that. 33 34 he's like you know i know what you guys are doing but i'm a nice guy you know i got my business i got my house i'm a good polish guy you know <laughs> crazy man it's crazy like it's like yeah i think that's about like this movie right? you know and uh, that's great the the way he's banging on the window to wake the cops up and yep, shit. that's what they did all, he did that all the time wild, that's man. all it's true crazy. it's he, true so what i love military. yes but you know what what i always say about <laughs> actors and films i'd rather see you know, a great actor, you know, like I always go back to that one scene in The Untouchables when De Niro oh, okay. is talking is, about man. baseball. Remember, he's talking about baseball and he has a baseball bat in his hand. But, you know, he's talking about something that happened earlier when the, you know, the law enforcement broke into one of his, you know, uh, yeah. private, you know, stills or whatever. And, we, you know, when De Niro is talking, they have a close up of just his eyes. Right. So he's talking about baseball, but you could see that he's so it, fucking pissed. <laughs> and then yeah. just smash him. But that's the same thing with that Gacy movie. Yeah. You know, Brian Dennehy, oh, you could tell in his eyes that he was like, you know, how he'd look at the young guys, but then you yeah, could see man. the people underneath it, it. It was great, man. It's a great yeah. movie. Like, it still holds yeah. up. Man. It's, it's yeah. Great. And you did. You've done uh well what's your latest Gacy? I we I saw um, that one. Oh yeah, cool. I'll show you um exclusive if you want to see yeah, it. Uh, like, I love this. Well one. like I finished like the four of them now. Um when I said I was gonna do a series because I plan on releasing these on like day glow, like neon imagery. That's the plan in the long run. Like, you know, eventually that's gonna come up with the first one. It's like we got John Wing Gacy. Like these are like my black line dot illustration kind of vibes, like you know. I yeah. love that one. You know, uh, these would be great in coloring books too. Yeah, yeah, man. It's crossed my mind. And also, yeah, like, I would, um, I would love, I'd work think? with you on a coloring book. I'd publish it if you oh, want. Yeah, let's I'm do serious. it, man. Let's do it. Oh, because, like, um, yeah, I'm thinking, like, you know, t shirt designs as well, these ones. That's true. But, but these are, yeah. I mean, I love all that detail where you can get in there and color it, you know, in your own colors. Oh, that's great. Yeah, this one's super in depth. Like. Oh, that's a <laughs> lot of work. A lot of work. And, um, the Adrian, the so Shane has. An amazing mind. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is like, oh, wow. this is the Dharma one, pretty close up, man. You know, so he like, oh, he liked dark meat, so you know, you got enough <laughs> yeah. dark meat. <laughs> That's what I love. I got, the, I got the, the, the Polaroids <laughs> in there and shit, like you know, it's loads of hidden stuff in that picture, man. It's crazy. And then, yeah. like, the final one, which I haven't even put this online yet, so this is kind of an exclusive, but it's like a it's like a Charles Manson acid trip page, like so. It's like this is a cool man. This one come out wicked, like so. I show you that. Oh wow! You just get better and better every day. I mean, that <laughs> is like, amazing. I love the reptilian eye. <laughs> yeah, man. So it's wow. like let's yeah, do that, a coloring that, book. Let's do. I see, I'll publish it. Let's do it. Let's, yeah, let's do it, man. But I yeah. need to get like these paintings published anyway. That's why I'm interested in working on it as well. You know? Yeah, but yeah. Even if you, you want know. to write the stuff about it, man, I wouldn't mind. Like, you know? Let's do it. You know, um, Eric asked, "Do you collect murderabilia?" Um, I have a few things to hand. I collect like um, like uh, I, bands. You know, like I, I fucking I get vinyl signed. I, I like I I'm fucking. Proper on that shit, man. I love that. So I, I collect. I've collected a small amount of like serial killer shit, man. I've like um, only a few things, man. I like, like cause he's just died. Like the Lawrence Bittaker signed Desperate yeah. Art Show thing. Like you know, I've got that. It's like I'll show. There's some in like um, yeah, this you know Manson letter and stuff. Typical stuff, man. Really, you know, it's it's, nice. it's stuff about years ago, but like. Everyone collects this, you know. Yeah. What I mean, who's into this? Yeah. Shit. It's the standard stuff, like you know. And then, yeah, only a couple more things. I got like a Richard Ramirez letter, you know, a Richard Ramirez. Nice. Um, and then this one, John, which is more interesting, which I can ask you, because you're working on John Wayne Gacy, man. Right? It's like, um, a bit Mr. Fuller. Have you ever heard of a Mr. Fuller? This is F U L L E R. Mm -mm. Yeah, F U D L. And um, 
the interesting thing about this film in Gacy Lad, um, it's like how he's crossed big eyes over all the eyes every time, isn't it, man? He's like really determined. It's like, I being allowed, I me, I am appealing. He sounds like he's pretty angry in this letter, you know? Even yeah, though you know, there were a lot of people he would, you know, but, that 14 years when he was, does that have a date on it? Uh, yeah, this one is uh, 1988, March 26th. Okay. That's great. Yeah, that was like, like yeah, six years before he was executed, I think, or a couple then, of years, yeah. I got one more thing, like, you know, and I wanted you to have a look at this because I wanted to know if you ever, um, like seen one of these, like, you know, but, um, I couldn't find the first book, but I, I did acquire this, you know, and then it's like, I have one of them. I ha I don't know if that one I have. Wow. Yeah. He signed it. Yeah, man. I have, I think I have the first one. That's the second one. I yeah, know Rick I've, State I've always been after the first one, man, but I was lucky enough to like, you know, there's um, a shop that deals with autographs in Swansea. Like, and he was lucky enough to get like a few, like items, Joe Wayne Gacy, years back, man. And then I bought them straight away. Like, you know, I was just like, it's only a handful of things, man. But like, I collect loads of shit, videos and fucking figures and like vinyl That's and awesome. shit, man. Just, just loads of stuff, man. Loads. Of I stuff, love man. it. Perfect. And you also did um, that a fish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Albert Fish. Oh, again, uh, and that was featured in Serial Killer Culture. Yeah, again, very important art, again, for, for some reason, because. Like, um, yeah, where's, where's the book? Harold Schechter? When he did, yeah, what? Harold Schechter's book was great. It's like, ranged, like, yeah, yeah, like this one, absolutely yeah. incredible. And when you interviewed him on the show, he was great, man. He was great. Like, I, I'm a big awesome. fan of his books, man. I like, um, I gave the Ed Gein one to my mate, like, you know, I, I did give some books away, man. I'm like, it's so good to some people, you just gotta read them and shit. <laughs> but, like, uh, yeah, the Alba Fish one, it's like, um, yeah, again, this was started in, like, 2006, and I just left it. Like, you know, it was during that time where I was, like, serial killers and working, yet no one's going for this art, like, you know? So I, I did this and left it on the back burner. And as I said, once we go in contact, and, like, I was like, fuck, I'm going to get the album fish, and I'm going to finish it for this movie. It's like a new start, you know? And, like, that's why I put it in the movie, and then it was like, yeah, it's been all cool since then. Because like, up until there... As I said, no one wanted serial killer stuff. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Well, that's that's interesting too because you know a, another Brit from Liverpool, David Van Gogh. Yeah, very you know he's good in art, the right? film. Yeah, very and he art. said too. He's you know a, he he was at that point like you know all of us artists get where we're like okay you know what this thing going nowhere yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. done and we do that every day right but yeah. you know he said that and then after serial killer culture came out he's like wow I couldn't believe it he's like after the movie came out I had hundreds of emails in my inbox yeah. and I'm like that's yeah. the best thing that I could wish for for you and yeah, David it and it, it, like it does everyone put me out there on the radar man because like yeah I landed like a couple of album covers and stuff like you know awesome and some like awesome. got a crazy like commission of like a band called postmortem it's hip hop like like yes. dark bell band, but again, because they seen my stuff in the movie, they wanted like some cannibal, like of you know, two rappers eating their girlfriend, and so like that's what I did, or eating his girlfriend. So that's what I did, that's man. Cool. And I Very ended up cool. on an album cover. So once you know, it was nice. for them seeing the go and you know all that in the movie, man. That, yeah, I did get quite a few things, you know, got published in a couple of magazines and stuff. So Hank says he's waiting impatiently for Shane to tattoo one of his Gein pieces on. <laughs> yeah. Big hi to Hank. Say hello to Hank, man. He's a good guy. He's very really good. Yeah, guy. and Adrian, you know, and said Adrian, hi to you too. Adrian said, "Nice, everyone." Yeah. It, it, Eric said, "Interesting fact: Phil Hartman did some album album covers. Really, Phil Hartman, one what? of my favorites. You know, what, what album covers? What was he? Yeah, I don't." What album covers he did, but yeah, you know, what a tragedy with him too, you know, being murdered by his wife. And, you know, he was at the height of his career too, you know. Yeah, well, is that recently? Is that what? Because I recently. No, it was a while back. It was like some kid who did album covers and he, he, he went mad and killed his parents or something. Did you read about that one? I can't remember. I don't know, I you know, it. I don't I don't doubt, you know, we all have to be insane to be artists, but it's like how insane are we? Yeah, like man, I know I'm insane, insane, but <laughs> it's like I'm not gonna kill people. <laughs> oh fuck no, man. It's some wild shit going on though, isn't it? That's why this stuff's yeah. fascinating though, man. Fucking blow Well, or that other guy, right? The metal guy that burned the churches. Oh, yeah, man, again, like the all the black metal scene is wild. Yeah. It? You know, that yeah. that's another great thing. Like Lords of Chaos was a great book, man, and 
like uh, Lucifer Rising is another good book to look into, like all the occult and metal side, of, you know, and music. Yeah. Is, again, like you know, those early album covers and of like a lot of like music, like Larry Carroll who did Slayer, you know, and Dead right. Skin Mask, the song, you know, I mean, that's very important. Like, oh yeah, that's Gene totally. You know, when I was like yeah. 14, 13, total metal riveted man into just metal and rap because there was nothing else cool around. The radio fucking sucked years radio music was there. so you, you just had to buy the coolest vinyl it was like magazines and vinyl and videos that was the internet man there was nothing else you know you had to go on these little slivers of information and like when I was about 14 one of the most influential like magazines I yeah, picked cool. up man was when I was in school I remember like you know running up in the dinner break man to get this like and me and my mate Lee like you know big mates like we grew up watching horror movies it's like it was in this that I seen that for the first time, you know? Yeah, that's book, something. You know? And then yeah. I never knew so much about Ed being that open. Another thing is I was a fan of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And, you know, everything starts linking up, man. Do you know what I mean? It, it all... It does. Just all yeah. feels like it goes. Yeah. Like, again, a big influence for that was, you know, these are the last two prints on my store, man. It's, it's doing it in colour, like, you know? Yeah. Like, you know, that. And again, that's because... It's been ingrained in my head since I was a kid due to that magazine. Like, you know, it's, it's wild. Yeah. It's like, and that's the cold world of Ed Gein? Is yeah. That yeah, man. So I remember that one? Yeah, that's that. great. Um, and, and like you said, I like how you do that homage to the black and white. You make it a little grayish, but throw the color in. Uh, just amazing. I, I like that, yeah, you cool. know, that contrast. Yeah, all old, old psychedelic. <laughs> you know, it's like it's... I love that stuff, man. I love it. I guess he did. It said Eric. He said he did some Steely Dan covers. Oh, right. Interesting. Right. Yeah, right. I, 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 I now, know do you not. still do? Yeah, Bomb I Lizard? This was yeah, that was the final one. Was Volume Four, which was that man, and um, yeah, again, like with this, like you know, early days. It's like this was like yes, um, I have some of those. Yep. This was like again a shout out to like you know everything I ever like. It was like when I left like college, you know um. I was basically like, I had a handful of art. I always wanted to do my own comic book magazine because, you know, the punk and fucking metal scene. It was all fanzines and magazines and shit. So I always had that as an idea. And then, like, a tattoo studio. And then I just went, like, I did crack it all. You know, I was playing in bands. I still do now. You know, we've taken a, a standstill at the minute. Like, Natural Bong Killers. It's like a doom band that, like, with serial killer samples. And then we got another band which is like, it's on hold, hold again because of all this, I mean, you know? So I've had to like, yeah. you know, we've got to step back. But during the time making these, it was all about that for me, man. I was partying, it was like writing comics, writing, you know, getting a bunch of artists together to make this. And my, my well, mate, and that's what I mean. You, know, you were great. proactive because some of these, I mean, you know, this was a way for you to get your artwork Yeah, out. man, that, you yeah, know, that, you, that you, artwork there is by Rick. He's a great artist. He did that comic book, and it's wild. It's a wild comic book. <laughs> Your work, this is yours, though. Yeah, that's my stuff, man. Yeah, all, all yeah, the things but, with but the I mean, and Right, like, but what I'm saying is, you know, when people, you know, come to me and say, well, what advice do you have for first-time filmmakers? What I say is, okay, first thing I'm going to tell you is don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot but, of work, isn't it? It's, it's hard. But it's, if it's stick right, but if you do it, you have to be in it. Like any art, you have to be in it two hundred percent. Like yeah, you were proactive. It's like if you sat around and waited for your stuff to be in a magazine, oh, man, you'd I still be waiting. I can't. Man, you I, know what I, I mean? I message fucking fans and come, you know, for years. I've done I, that didn't, too. I didn't stop, man. But you know, it's cold response of most of them. Some people are like, "Oh yeah, yeah. it's cool, but it's fucked up." I'm like, "Yeah, okay." That's, you know what I mean? And then, like, I'll just wait to see I know. Goes. But, like, you just do your own thing. Yeah, because these know. were important. Bong Lizard 1 and 2. Because my mate, like, this is, you know, I, I'm going to give him a shout. It's like, this is based on me and my mates when we were younger. It's just like, you know what I mean? And I wrote horror comics around all that kind of, like, shit we were up to. Because it was great days, man. And the guy who, like, you know, who, who helped me do the first one was Bluffton. He went under the name Vile Buff. I went under the name Sam Hain. And then... After all the years, as I explained earlier, that's caused chaos, man. Because, like, I thought people would get Sam Ain. It's just Shane, you know, put A-M after the S. Right. It was just, like, a typical joke, man. It was, like, a ghostwriter joke, like, and I kind of used it as a nickname, and it's caused so much confusion, John. But, like, yeah, I was thinking with these. This was important because it was in this. I did introduce, like, my first kind of idea of a graphic novel, which was, you know, the rock and roll death dive. 
vinyl nasty story, like you know. Right. So that yes. that was yeah, like um, a two running thing. So it's like that was going to be like a graphic novel. I wrote like a rough half a script and shit years ago, and it was going to be this big idea, but it just went on the back burner, man. But I finally got it out. I released it in those, so it was cool. Eventually, those are great. I released that, like you know. So. Yeah, no, <laughs> you you did great work with all that. I mean, you know, with between music, tattooing, painting, creating art, you know, the magazine. And didn't you do something that recently with Bundy Audio as well, or oh, something? Oh yeah, yeah. Talk I was going to say, if anyone um, is interested, like my channel on YouTube, I've had a few years, but I, I didn't really upload much. You know, there's a couple of old videos, but like, um, you know, the last couple of years, I've been like filming my artwork like each serial killer and put in audio to it to give it a better like awesome. kind of run in theme with the painting yeah. so like it's kind of cool. like little stories and little audio clips but like if anyone wants to find that like my channel is samine 69 on youtube and you can find loads of stuff on there man like, samine 69 all one word yeah right? yeah man and, and again like you know it's like um yeah, and there's an interesting story behind this one the man i love somewhere. that one yeah it is like Years ago, I, I like, um, yeah, you know, I, every, I everyone fucking writes to a killer now and again. Yeah, hold it up though. So, like, yeah, um, as you talk, yeah, yeah. So, I wrote to Manson years ago, man. Never had a reply, right? I did like a few, you know, uh, pieces. That one as well was really important to me, you know, that, Love one. that one too. So, like, um, and again, I, I wrote that one because of like reading this. Once you read that, that's the first go to, but it's full of. Man, it's it's kind confusing. Of, man, I don't even know. You know, anyone who reads this, I'm like, go and get some other books, man. You know, it's like well, and you know, Bugliosi, you know, he's a really right? Cool, yes, you know? in his own uh, words. And you know what? Another great one is Shadow over Santa Susanna. That one, oh, yes, yeah, are some great. I, I've never yet read that one, man. No, you'll have to send me. A well, book. you. Yeah, but you got to be careful because that one, the the shadows over Santa Susanna, has all the conspiracy theories, yeah, and you could go crazy. Yeah, it's wild. I, I've I'm, been into the Manson thing for years. It's like one of those stories that just keeps on going, man. It's crazy, like it's it's fucking it's wild, like you know. So like the goodbye yeah. helter skelter. Bruce said he's that's good. Eric said also did one called Fighting Clowns. Interesting. Ah, right, yeah, man. And the, the, this one, old school one. That's classic. Ed Sanders, the family. Oh yeah, that book. one too. That one's great. Yeah, yes. there's a there's a funny like um yeah with this painting. Oh, this it was an oil pastel. Like, a couple of years back, um, I was online and someone had posted up this with the S removed and a picture of the family on top. Huh. So like, the guy messaged me and said like um this is like. Charles Manson liked this artwork and he'd like uh, request copies to photograph, um, you know, send out. So he sent me Charles Manson's address and he said, write to him. He, what, he, he'll be really chuffed to know it was you who did it. And I sent him a letter and he was dead two months later. It's like one of those fists of fate in life. Oh. Like, it's like, ah, oh, no way. At least he'd fucking seen it, I guess, man. But you know what I mean? And there's a video about that on my like YouTube channel as well. Just a little story about that. You know? and, um, yeah. Some newer serial killer stuff because the time's yeah i want to see your newer stuff i know that's what i'm saying this is just oh, flow by i mean i'm gonna open it up too for questions just yeah, to, in case anyone like, wants um, to some new stuff like the Ooh, newer paintings. Hillside. yeah that's that's like you know a brutal piece like uh i like eileen Wernoff. i love that eileen one yeah man that's another crazy story though isn't it like yeah. you know, i felt sorry for him man. it's wild exactly you know i mean all that abuse and everything all that shit she Brutal. went through it's going to come out in some way you know re people Brutal. don't understand that there are you know reactions to actions you know and not yeah, everything yeah. is you know okay let's just deal with it you know through therapy some people just murder they are they yeah, you know well, abuse animals or whatever it is you know yeah, again down to peter Curran, man i like, had to look really oh, heavy man. Man. It's fucking wild like Tamara Sansonova or Samsonova, I got really like interested in this recent case about the old like Granival Lecter they dubbed her, and she was yes. like fucking eating livers and insane and all this shit. Yes. That was crazy. I love that one. Like I got that so much cool. into that story for a bit. It's like I had to do a painting. Like, 
know? And then um, I know, you know, and and you know, we're still hearing these either, you know, what? true crime or weird serial killer cases. We're still hearing these things, you know, yeah. that uh, that you know, the 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 height, you know, of like from 70s to kind of like early 90s is gone, but you know, there's still crazy wow. stories out there. Very important movie discussing that, man. The killing oh, of America. Oh, yes. Fuck, man. Yeah. Again, yeah, that's great. Uh, very early, like great movie, which made me like produce, you know, that look in the Kemper, you know. That Kemper's great. Again, this is like another early one. This is like um, so two thousand and two or something. I can't remember, but like this was the stuff I'd send around, going like, you know, I could do story like serial killer stuff. Like you know, I got this these ideas, but again, no one wanted to see that shit. <laughs> it's like a, no, I, I, I know. Like a, I deliberately wasn't doing it to offend. That's why I need to like people to know, man. You know, it's a, it's like a right. crime story on painting. You know, and you know that's why you know I heard Bizarre Magazine is making a comeback, and you know it's, it's it, magazines like that. You know that you know we need to expose our work. Yeah, because like I used to write those years ago, man, and yeah, they didn't again didn't want nothing to do with me for a few years, man, and then yeah. all of a sudden. They started printing my stuff, and then it was like, I'm not sure if he changed the editor or something, because I did send them stuff earlier on, back in the day, like years ago. Never heard nothing. I, like, you know, they didn't want nothing to do with it, man. Seriously, like, no, it was really odd. Mm -hmm. And like, I did yeah, a time did. lapse of this one. Oh, so, I love that one, Berkowitz, um, son of Sam. And again, I love you've got half kind of black and white, and then separated by the the you know the the. Uh, the smoke from the gun like, is color on the right. I love that. Yeah, so it's like, you know, overlooking is like the demon and the dog. And like, you know, it's supposed to be like his vision like in his head, possessed, just after he's fucking shot these. Like, you That's know, great. And shit. And it's, it's like his actual note that we wrote there, you know? It's like... like and what medium is that? Yeah, and this is a um, acrylic uh, Posca pens, you know, black ink. I, I use like all different things. I, I don't stick to like... One particular paint, man. I'll use everything right. to make it like need you know to look the way it's gone, like, you know. And Other for everyone things. watching, these are all your prints are for sale. If you go to yeah. Art Grinder, there's links to other. This one's for sale. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I got a couple of like the Ed Gein ones left. There's loads of these up. So I had a brand new run of these printed. I only do them every few years, so it's on the third run now. Like you know, a bigger run. A really nice card, man. So yeah, I had a bunch of stuff done, and again, like. Early Ted Bundy one, you know. That's the yeah. You talked about that one in culture. Yeah, that's yeah. be someone I put up on line, really. Like you know. Yeah, and because then, uh, when you know when they had that picture of him, you know, after he was executed, it looked like he was like a permanent smile on his face. Yeah, it's the, crazy. And I, and yeah. I did rewatch some of the photos of that. You know, when he's on the gurney, and he, and yep. the, you know that the fucking burn in his head, and he's like his eyes are open and he's smiling. Yeah, he's like whoa. Yeah. Man, oh, he was smile. happy. <laughs> he had the last word, you know, he had the last say right before his execution when they did yeah, that interview a, with him. I had a couple of uh, films here somewhere I was going to talk about. Yeah, like, you know, the Ted Bundy movies? The original oh, yes. Ted Bundy movies. Yeah, movie. those are great. But show, yeah. do you have your Klu Klukinski? Yeah, I do. Actually, two seconds. It's all, all that one. Yeah, and again, I love that one, too. Yeah. I, I was really into the case of uh, the Iceman, you know? It's like um, Richard Kuklinski. He was probably one of the most brutal, like hardcore fucking on a on a on a par between a serial killer and like a, a hitman, and like he yeah. was just his own thing, man. And I've read the book The Ice Man, and like I recommend that as a book because like literally every two three pages is a new murder, man. And that book I could not stop reading, it. and the amount of like. Fucking death is wild, man. You know, yeah. it's just, and, it's, and he could get away with it because yeah, he like, was protected by the mob. So it's so like cold, like you, you know, know what I mean? Like here's a serial killer that could do what he wanted because he's under a cover of the mob, and it's like wow. I, he, he used to go yeah. out and kill for fun, man. That's the yeah. wild thing. Like when you, you know, yeah. it's crazy. Like he, he murdered hundreds, man, or like a hundred odd or something. Or you know, it's, it's crazy. Like but his interviews. Just so cold, man. And it's really yeah. fascinating. Like yeah. the book, the book was better than the interviews, man. To be honest, I just yeah. piled it. Really yeah. cool. Well, and you know, and, and uh, you know, 
thing, you know, the U.S. and U.K. have in common, I think, are probably the worst serial killers in the world. I mean, they're bad ones in Australia and everywhere. But really, I mean, two of my favorites are from the U.K. are Nelson, Dennis Nelson and John Christie. Both yeah. of those. Stories. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, again, I got all this shit. The Hangman, like classic movie, 10 million, million in place. Oh, that's one movie, of the best man. ever. I like the Dennis Nelson book, Killing for Company. That's another one yes. I passed on a while back before. What a book, man. What Did a book. you see the, the miniseries? No, I ain't seen it yet. No, I, I, you I, know, it wasn't bad. Yeah, Tim I, Roth was excellent. Oh, Tim yeah. Roth, great actor. I mean, oh. He's like, you know, again, early stuff, like Made in Britain's Wild, man. You know, still crazy. It's like, yeah. <laughs> again, um, old Classic Dahmer, Dahmer. This was in your book, man. And then like this one, one on Gary, you know, the Green River Killer. You got him. Oh, wow. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. Cool. Like, again, with this one, it was like... um. You know, just an open question because it's just like you know, was it seventy dead? Because he said seven, but it was more. Right. Like, it was more, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, right? it, was. it was a lot more. And yeah. again, an interesting documentary man is um, murder, no apparent motive. Have you seen? That's yeah. a great one too. Yeah, great. Yeah, and like during that, he's only killed forty, and they're looking for him in that shit. Man. I know. I, I was know. watching one last night about the Golden State Killer, but it was b before they apprehended him. Yeah, I still and it was so interesting. Back. Yeah, because, you know, one of the detectives said, I guarantee you that this killer is probably in Sacramento. And he was. And he that's was, where yeah. he was, you know, and that's where they caught him. He was ex-police officer, and he had raped and killed all these people, but he was just retiring. They showed up at his door. Here's an old man, you know, just taking Why? it easy for the day. It's you know? crazy, man. It's crazy, isn't it? It's like total two yeah. sides, man. Two sides of a coin. Yeah, the but duality. Like, um, yeah, again, the, the last, like, three newer ones there, man. Uh, Jack the Ripper, which again I find quite fascinating. You know? That one's great. And again, the reason painted in color because I'd only ever seen the black and white photo, but I did each victim, you know, there's graphic descriptions of that, and I wanted that in color because it's all black and white anyway, you know. And then right. I just like um, the visualization of him, and then another one, and you held his head. <laughs> He's a curtain, man. <laughs> Man, yeah, that was an interesting experience. That's great too. Yeah, if I take a little thing, because like, and again, I like that too. The black and white and the color, so it's like his mugshot, but then all the color. And yeah, having him alive with like vampire teeth, you're in the blood come from his head. That's deliberate. Oh yeah, and you have the the <laughs> display from look Ripley's. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That that yeah. you know guillotine. That's the display from look Ripley's. Yeah, and, too. and you you held his head, man. Oh, it was amazing. Because like this guy was fucking crazy, huh? Oh, he was oh, insane. I mean, you know, he would ejaculate just from seeing blood. Yeah, like if he would stab his victim, he would ejaculate. It's just like this is hidden. All these paintings have the little hidden pictures in there, man. I try and get yeah. as much, much of like, you know, as much of the like crimes and shit as I can into one painting, man. It's kind of like a little movie, like, you know? Exactly. And, yeah. And again, no, you, you tell a story with it. You know? Yeah. And then, yeah, that's, that's me. That's me. I've never like, again, I'm sorry. It was never meant to offend or shit. Like, you know, it's like, right. it's just like, I, 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 I got to do it. You know, once you immerse yourself in this stuff, man, you've got to, it comes out. Like, and then again, this yeah. one was a brutal case, I thought, was the Robert Picton. <sighs> Murder. Yes. Because I like, love how he's smiling. Like and yeah, that pigs. famous photo of him where he's like, it's a he looks terrifying. Yeah. Right? He looks like a right <laughs> you know? He does, and, yeah. And again, killed 49, like never made it to 50, and he admits that on camera, and that interview was fucking crazy, man. You know, it's yep. like it's wild, man. It's fascinating. Yep. I don't know. Yeah. It's like a, I don't know how people can like be fascinated. It's just one of those things that draws you in, man. It's wild. It is, you know, each one of these stories, because like I said, there's multifaceted, you know, uh, interests in the story. You could look at the historical aspect, the detective work yeah. or the lack of forensics yeah. or, you know, I mean, just, you know, human, you know, interaction like Gacy's best friend. When I had him on my show, he was crying about yeah, how he man, had PTSD, you know. Man, these series, is, man, I've got like everything to hand like tonight, but great. And I'm telling anyone who awesome. hasn't hasn't seen or purchased these like you know get these as well man, because like again there's so much insights on in, into this again from different areas and different people talking about different cases and it's fucking interesting man. it's so good like different artists yeah. it's great, man. i would love to i love to continue that you know i mean one of these days i might get a budget we'll see but you know oh, man, it's you all good great. Doing yeah great, i'm man? just i'm doing 
Right. I'm doing what I can with what I have. You know, there are a lot of people that help, such as yourself, other artists help. They yeah, spread the word. Time. You know, we help each other and that's what we have to do. You know, I mean, I know there are some artists out there that have egos and attitudes, but in the end, it doesn't serve them well. You know, there was one I was going to have on my show and he hmm. didn't like that. I didn't put his name on it. And it's like, but you know what? If he would have just, you know, said, okay, no big deal. I'll be on the show. You know, yeah. there are going to be thousands of people that watch this over the years. You know, yeah. it's, it's yeah, like this you is, put the ego um, aside, you know. Th this is like a, a, one of your, a first, man. This is like the early shows. And they, they've been exactly. great fun so far. As I said, you've had like some amazing guests. That, Thank you. You know, I'm saying the guy who owned the G, uh, John Wayne Gacy stuff, the paintings. Oh, and, like, yeah. Like the paint set, man. It's like. That's Isn't that wild. something? Yeah. I, I, like, Isn't you know, that amazing? Oh, man. It's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, I know. You know, and that's the weird thing. You know, I mean, through these journeys, like I've held, you know, Curtin's head in my hands, Gacy's yeah, brain was, in a jar. That was wild, man. That yeah, that awesome. was insane. Yeah, it's crazy. That's insane. When I when I seen that, I was like, fuck, because I've always seen that picture, and then a photo come up of you holding the head. Like online, man. I was like, no way, man. That's wild. Please. You know, it's the experiences. You know, that's the things that we remember. And, and to me, those are the things that are meaningful, like working with you, working with other people, you know, um, not necessarily owning those artifacts, but being able to see them or, or touch them. Like, you know, when I went to the um, museum, the gun museum in Claremore, yeah. Oklahoma, they have Pans Ram's uh, uh, the the noose the hood that he was hung no with way, and man. when you when you look at the the hood it's weighted at the bottom so they put like lead pellets so when they fall the the hood doesn't oh, fly oh, up oh, whoa, no exactly way. and then you know of course they had it on display there but of course I just had to at least touch it you know I'm very <laughs> respectful of stuff but I'm like I gotta touch this this was on Pan's Ram's head documentary you made on that was great very interesting yeah. man I because yeah. I didn't know much about him. Yeah, I get, and yeah, you're doing a book as well, yeah? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like the, the documentary, right? It's like, um, I didn't know much about him. And I see, and it's like opened my eyes again. It's, you know, another crazy yeah. killer, but very interesting. So interesting. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, maybe you'll do him too. There's so many that we could do, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's endless. Close, I'm like <laughs> reworking the classics all the time at the minute, man. Yeah, it, still it pulling is. in all the Manson stuff, and it's, it just goes on and on. and like It always will. They're, they're, well, you're right. They're like the classics. They're like Wizard of Oz, Casablanca. And, yeah, and there's you know, they're like more the classic things. killer. There's always yeah. more stuff. That's why I'm really looking forward to like the John Wayne Gacy book. Now, if there's more you know, in your documentary, and it's different to all the stuff I've read over the years. Yes. That's going to put oh, a whole is, new light on it. You know? It's going to be a very new light uh, with the things that I'm focusing on. But let's get back to you. So where is the best place for people to find your work? Is that artgrinder.com? Um, yeah, if you go to artgrinder.com, I've, I've run that for years. It was like basically the first thing I set up when I left like college. And um, yeah, on there, there's links at the bottom, so you can find me on Instagram, Samine69. I'm on on there as uh, like you know, um, was I'm on like Twitter as uh, art, at Artgrinder on Twitter, and then like um, yeah, there's links on my Artgrinder thing to all the store and the shop via Etsy and everything. So like if you go to Artgrinder, my YouTube channel, it's all linked up. I rarely use Facebook, you know, just for like it's, it's you know I. I, I but like, if you do message me, I will get back at some point. Like, yeah. and like, to, to anyone who's ever bought anything of mine or like supported anything I've ever done, like, it's a massive thank you because I never go live. This is the first that I never appear on live, and so thank you for this, John. And like, oh, like you know, it's thank a big, you. I bow down to your art. <laughs> you, I man. do. It's serious. And it's You're like, great. yeah, it's, it's like, um, yeah, a big thank you to anyone who's ever bought a print, a bong lizard, a fucking anything anything off me whatever man it's like, i don't know who you all are but like yeah whoever has kept me going it's only small sales through the year but that shit has kept me painting man so i'm very humble and i appreciate anyone who's bought my art man and supports it so it's cool like Thank you. But yeah, if you thank, thank you, you, Shane, you know, Shane Owen, Sam Hain. But, yeah, you know, yeah. again, if you check out Art Grinder, he's got links to where you could buy his prints and they're on other sites. But if you just type, you know, Shane Owen or Sam Hain, UK artist, I'll guarantee you like hundreds of sites, thousands come up. And Eric mentioned uh, he'd like to see a Jesse Pomeroy from you. That would be oh, interesting. Right, yeah, Maybe yeah, stabbing a kitten and that's another, like, um, stabbing the girl. That's another case, which, again, I'm going to look into because of uh your book man that's another book i want to get because again i yeah. hadn't heard of that case until you you uh you know put something up online about it yeah yeah but, i'm I, he's gonna be featured in a 
future episode of my show, but I'm still doing a film on him. So we've got like, you know, about 40 seconds. Just cool. wanted to wrap it up. Shane Owen, Sam, yeah. AKA Sam Hain. Yeah. Just art Shane. Grinder .com. Yeah. Art, art grinder .com. Like, um, yeah. Sam Hain 69 on YouTube, Sam Hain 69 on Instagram. Like, you know, basically art grinder message me on any of those. Like I'll get back to you eventually if it's about artwork and, yeah, big shout out to all my friends and like my girlfriend for supporting me. She does great art as well. My mate Ian does great art. Like, you know, it's, it's all out there. Like, early on 13, just check that out. Check out. Like, there's tons of stuff to check out. Tons of eyes. Go look, look at it all, man. I love it. Thank Everyone you. Thank you it. for being on the show. You rock. I mean, you know, yeah, you thanks, rock. Jeff. You're awesome. And I hope, you know, we'll work together again. Yeah, cool, man. I'm looking forward to it, John. That was awesome. Thank you very much, man.